So if there's any planet that is terraformable, it would be Mars. By the way, the value of water in space is $10,000 a pound. Going to the center of a black hole is a singularity. All the theories say the matter occupies zero volume, thereby having infinite density. And that's kind of weird. What? No, you can't have infinite. No, that's a limit of Einstein's theory. The Newton's laws of motion and gravity worked. They worked not only for galloping horses, it worked for the moon in orbit around the Earth, and the Earth in orbit around the sun, and Jupiter's moons in orbit around Jupiter. But wait a minute, it doesn't work for Mercury. Mercury's orbit is not following Newton's laws. Is there something wrong with the data? Let's check it. Data's correct. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Einstein comes along and says, I have a new understanding of gravity and a new understanding of motion. And it accounts for this weirdness in Mercury's orbit. What was the weirdness? It, its shape was not exactly what Newton's laws of gravity would give you. Its shape could only be accounted for when you throw in Einstein's theory of general relativity. Why? Because the sun's gravity is so monstrous and Mercury's orbiting close enough to it that it's being influenced by extra phenomenon going on in the universe that's the product of very high and significant gravity. Newton's laws don't stop working where they used to work. Apollo to the moon used only Newton's laws because Einstein didn't matter at those scales. The moon and Earth and, and rockets, we're not going fast enough for any of that to matter. But when you start going fast enough, you cannot use Newton's laws. You have to use a deeper understanding. If there's any planet that is terraformable, it would be Mars. The reason to do it is not to protect our species in case an asteroid comes and hits our Earth, that's the wrong, fine, it makes a headline, but think about it. 